the opportunity to design the BMW iCars was probably uh, something that you probably once in a lifetime uh, will ever experience because it's about a new brand or sub-brand BMW i which we had to create of course a new identity specific for this brand. We had right from the beginning developed a specific design strategy for the BMW i sub-brand where uh, we of course want to combine the idea of sustainability, responsibility, together with the idea of emotion, and this is something that we call Next Premium. The BMW i3 uh, is built around a very innovative uh, concept, which we call Live Drive. What is it exactly? It is uh, pretty much the idea to split, uh, let's say, uh, the driver and the passenger cabin to, uh, let's say, the drivetrain. And actually, uh, this is what is possible when it comes to electric car, because you have to design this car in a totally different manner. And uh, I can show you also what it really means uh, when it uh, comes to, let's say, for example, the interior design. Uh, you see uh, that uh, we have into the i3 an interior which is actually uh, very, uh, let's say, spacious. In order to design uh, BMW i, the i3 and also the i8, we had uh, at the design department uh, two main challenges that we had to address. One was of course uh, to define the look and feel of BMW i because as being a sub-brand on one side you will recognize BMW but you will also recognize some let's say specific icons or character uh, for this new brand. And uh, the second uh, challenge was, of course, for us, uh, the integration of, let's say, a great deal of new technology uh, which are coming into these uh, cars, the i3, for example, such as uh, the drivetrain, the electric drivetrain, and as well uh, the lightweight construction that you will see in the form of the carbon body. I would like now to show you what makes the design of the i3 uh, so special. We can start, uh, for example, at the front. Uh, you see that uh, we've been uh, using some typical BMW uh, elements, uh, such as the kidney, uh, such as the emblem, but uh, we could treat them in a totally different manner. For example, uh, this is an electric car, and the first thing that's going to bump to your eyes is like, of course, this is uh, closed, this is normal, this is an electric car. But uh, we had the possibility to signal uh, the idea of e-drivetrain through the introduction of this blue that you see here around on the kidneys, as well around the emblem, uh, which is like specific for BMW i cars. Another detail is, for example, uh, the front lamp, uh, which is like full LED. This is highly efficient. You will have like less energy consumption. And additionally, it looks like very precise, very high tech. What you also see uh, is the very strong contrast between, uh, let's say, the black belt, which extends from the front up to the rear over the roof, and, let's say, the body colors uh, design element, such as this bumper. This gives a very strong contrast, but also helps to divide uh, the proportion or, the, let's say, the height uh, of the whole car uh, through this, uh, let's say, design uh, solution. And here, uh, something which is also specific uh, to BMW i, uh, these are like these large wheels. Uh, this is quite untypical, actually, to see such large wheels uh, on a silly car or a small car. But again, there was a good reason for that, uh, and that was efficiency. Uh, the diameter is quite large, but the tire is very, uh, let's say, narrow, and that helps to make the aerodynamic or the drag uh, resistance like a lot more uh, effective and of course uh, from the design standpoint we win uh, from the aesthetic point of view this is 19 inch and when it comes to big wheel a uh, car designer would never say no this is again the, a mega city car or a city car uh, you need a, a good uh, let's say uh, view all around and this is offered uh, through this window graphic we call actually this design element stream flow which is again, uh, uh, let's say, a unique icon for BMW i uh, that swings uh, from the bed line here up to the rear. That looks also very dynamic, very fluid, very natural as well. Uh, and you also see that uh, there's actually uh, a step between the front door and the rear door because we wanted to make sure 
that the rear passenger, and it is often some kids, uh, will also have a good vision uh, from the outside. This is uh, important to all eyes to make the rear seating as attractive uh, as the front seating, and this is possible uh, through uh, this graphic. And in essence, you see that the car optically uh, celebrates the idea of lightweight. It looks like optically light, but it looks also very modern. This is something that we definitely wanted to basically uh, bring into the design of the i3. The rear uh, of the i3 uh, is very special, I would say nearly very spectacular, very futuristic also, uh, because the technology that lies in this car is one part of the future, and this is something that we wanted to really show uh, also through the rear uh, of the car. You see that uh, the extension of the black belt that was running from the front, now you find it back here. This is here all glass. What is also unique uh, for the BMW i3 is the integration of the taillights directly into this part. You don't have any uh, shirt line, it looks like very clean, again, like the shape language uh, that you uh, see on the side. Uh, that has a bit the optic of also what you know from some smartphones, so it looks like very high tech. We, of course, like place the badge i3 here. Uh, on this surface and this is actually a very refined detail that you find here and uh, again uh, something also which was very important uh, for uh, the development of the i3 again aerodynamic which you find you find here back into the let's say the rear spoiler but also uh, this hedge which are basically uh, surrounding the car and which will be helping to, again, uh, reduce the drag uh, coefficient, very important. And you find back also here uh, on the bottom of the car through uh, the rear diffuser. So basically the whole four edges of the car are very sharp and help, again, uh, the idea of efficiency and sustainability.